What's up, everyone? Tetrick85 here, and welcome to Season 3 of my Sheffield United career mode for FIFA 19. And I think this is going to be a huge season. And those of you that know, last season I made a bunch of pre-contract signings. And I also made some uh, some big signings here, which I'll show you here in a minute. And this also marks the return of our wonder kids, Yaka Peterson, and most importantly, Justin Van Leeuwen. You can see he's already reached an 80 over a rating, which I am fan I'm going to be so excited to see what he can do for this season. He, he's he been awesome since I promoted him from the Youth Academy, and he is going to be the star of this career mode. I just know it, but um, as you can see, let's, first of all, let's look at the Premier League standings here. And I am in eighth position right now. I got one win and two draws. Which I'll show you the calendar here, and I I have five points, which is only four points behind Manchester United, who have been absolutely perfect so far. So we may be looking at a, a potential uh, Premier League title contender in Manchester United. Which let me go back in here again. Uh, FA Community Shield, which we did take a part in, and we are beating Manchester City five four in penalties. Which is awesome. And, um... Let's see. We did not... Yeah, that's how I wanted to show there. We did not take part in the, uh... Preseason tournament this time. I figured, you know what? We really didn't. And let's look at our, uh, Starting budget here. Which actually wasn't too bad. Let me see if I can find it first. There we go. That is our starting budget for the season. $26.5 million, which isn't fantastic, but it's right up there to where you, you should be for a Premier League team. You figured that's only $3 million or so less than the lowest um, earner, which I believe was um, Cardiff City. So, And at a $130,000 wage budget, which is nice. But yeah, I figured since I had that much in the... Um, the bank, and I was bringing in all those pre-contract signings. I really felt no need to do the preseason tournament. And speaking of my squad, take a look at the starting eleven. You can see I'm playing with a 4-4-2 diamond wide. Justin Barlow is once again my starting goalkeeper, but I end up bringing in um, DeAndre Yedlin, and he's gonna be my new right back, replacing uh, Nusser Mizrawi. Mizrawi is dropped to my reserve bench. And I got Matthias Delete, 84 rated center back. I have him and their partner in Jamal Lascelles. And the third signing that I made, I only made three signings. And the third signing I made, I made was Mark Kukurea for um, Sheffield United. Which I ended up getting from Barcelona. He's already 75 rated, so... he, I think he's got to be fantastic for me, a player for me too, and... Um, you see, my, my backup team is actually looking pretty solid as well. My lowest rated player happens to be Kukurea, but I expect his overall to shoot up naturally. But, um, yeah, let's take a look at some of the deals that's happened. Which, I should I should have said at the beginning of this video, this is going to be the talky bit just to introduce you guys to Season 3. But, uh, you can see Kukurea I got from Barcelona for $24 million. Delete, I paid a pretty penny for him from Ajax for $47 million, and believe me, he's going to be worth that. I, I can't wait to see how he does alongside Jamal Lascelles. And DeAndre Yedlin I ended up getting from Newcastle for $9 million. And speaking of Newcastle, that's where I sold Calvert-Lewin to for $39 million, which is $1 million less than what Newcastle paid for Joel and Ten in real life. But I figure, you know what, let Dominic Calvert Lewin be Newcastle's problem now because he was good for me in season one in the championship, but in season two he was just so inconsistent and borderline awful. I just could not I just could not deal with him. So first chance I got, I decided to sell him and luckily Newcastle United was the team that was able to take him off my hands. But um another departure, which this one John Egan, which I ended up selling to Everton for $6.5 million, 
with the addition of Matthias Delete, there was really no place on the team for him, and he's been a really good servant for me, but I figure, you know what, time to move him on, since he's only 27 years of age, I can still get a decent amount for him, and I figured, might as well get him, and even though I sold him to a rival team in the Premier League, figure bring in some more money. And I did sell Tatsuya Ito. Now, this is going to be a controversial departure too, which... Here's another player that did really good for me in the championship. In the first half of the second season, he was awesome, but then he just... His form really took a dip in the later part of season two, and... I was... I initially was going to sell Calvin Stengs, but Calvin Stengs actually improved as the season went along last year. Whereas Tatsuya Ito drastically decreased in his quality, so I figured might as well I sell him on, which I did for $13 million uh, to Real Sociedad, so best of luck to, to Tatsuya Ito over in Spain, and um, Ender Stevens, 30 years of age, ended up getting $2.8 million from him from Empoli, which I actually think is a pretty good deal, to be honest with you, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the transfer business that I did. Um, let's see what else I want to show. Take a look at what's been going on here. So, I ended up drawing 1-1 at the beginning of the season. At home against Liverpool, which isn't really bad of a result, considering, um, they are Liverpool. Tottenham, this was a pretty good result away from Bramall Lane. I drew 1-1 against them, so I opened up with two, two, uh, two straight 1-1 one, one draws. And I ended up facing Everton, which John Egan, that's his new team, I ended up beating them 2 nothing at home. And the next video will be against Leeds United, which is a team that I'm playing another career mode on, which I'm having a blast with that one. But I really missed playing with this team, and more, most importantly, I missed playing with Justin Van Leeuwen. I mean, this guy's been incredible for me. Um, let's see, let's take a look at the squad report here real quick. Could put on some of these attributes here. Yedlin's already grown by one, which is awesome to see. Eggestein, uh, pre-contract signing, I got him in. Uh, Torgan Hazard, who is another pre-contract signing. Florian Toven, I got last season. He's always been a consistent player for me in career mode. Justin Van Leeuwen's already grown by one. You can see his stats. Ball control's out of 96, dribbling 94. Yeah, he's just going to keep on getting better. Uh, Timo Werner I got last season. Uh, Noble Fakir, he's a pre-contract signing that I got. Hinteregger is a player that I got last season. He's been very good. Kevin Trapp is a pre-contract signing I got. Jan Fieder Erp, who is my player of the season in Season 1, he I expect him to have uh, continue to have a good impact with his team. Calvin Stings, I did try to sell him, but instead I sold Ito, but he will be getting game time with me. And like I said before, he did improve go, uh, throughout the second half of Season 2, so hopefully with, he, he'll stay that way. And for the longest time, I thought he was left-footed, but he ended up being right-footed. And I think that is another reason why he ended up getting better, since I did use him on his actual preferred foot. Uh, Marino... I, he was a one, he was another one that I got from last season. Very good player. Ethereum's Calores, he's been shooting like a rocket in his career mode, though he was very disappointing for me in my Newport County career mode. And I ended up selling him halfway through season two, that way I could bring him some awesome free agency free agent players. But as far as this career mode, he is not going anywhere. He's only twenty four years of age. I expect him to keep on growing. Uh, Jordan Lukaku. Another decent player that I got. How long has he been with the team? He's been with me since season one. That's what I thought. It's been a while since I played this career post, so I'm going to be a little bit fuzzy on some details. Uh, Malambi, 78 rated. And a bunch of these other guys here. You can see Kukure is at a 75. Some of the stats right there look amazing. Um, you see Castro Montez right there. Yasin Arznanakic, however you pronounce that. Yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these players, these names, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce. Uh, a lot of my uh, youth economy prospects like Anderson, Vestergaard, DeGraff, Harris, Wilson. Uh, 
Taste the crap. I I do feel bad for him. Hopefully, I'll be able to sell him on and bring him bring in some more money. But he's been a good servant for me too. And if I don't sell him, he'll just be a decent third string goalkeeper. But uh, you can see some of these other guys here. Uh, Mizrawi, uh gotta be my backup right back. Philip Billig, I'm trying to sell because he he just has not been growing at all. He's been a very good player for me, but considering I got him, I. If I remember correctly, I bought him for around 25, not 25 million, was it 25 million? Or was it like 30 some million? It seems to me it was like 30 some million that I paid for him from Huddersfield Town, but he has certainly not lived up to that uh, price tag, so I'm going to be moving him on, hopefully. Kuraba is another one I plan on selling. Fabian Scherr, you know, I didn't realize I had him in my reserves, but he's going to be getting some game time. I do rate Fabian Scherr a lot. Uh, Rolly Bully, I'm not sure. I might be moving him on. He's already decreased in some of his stats, so I'll definitely be looking at moving him on. Same with Oliver Norwood. And the rest of these guys are all on loan. As a matter of fact, the rest of these guys, I mean, the Awad brothers right here, they're 17 and 16 years of age. And they're both from Egypt, so... But there you go. I think that's pretty much... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There you go, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video, and, um, let me just see here real quick, I think, yeah, I think that's it, and my finances are pretty low, especially after the, the Delete and Kukurea captures, but, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, I don't think there's really anything else for me to say, and next time I see you guys, I'll be playing against Leeds United at Ellen Road, so, but thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I will see you guys again next time.